What is up, everybody? Vital Syntax here. This is just gonna be a quick video. This is the second base we're playing as defenders on Rush, and I'm playing with the Recon class with the M48-5. And I wanted to give you guys my setup for playing as the Recon class because I've been doing quite a bit lately. Um, it's not quite exactly what I'm using in this video, but I'll get in that in a second. And also, maybe give you guys some tips and tricks real fast for playing Recon as defenders. So, first thing, my kit setup. I'm using the M40A5, which is my favorite uh, bolt action. I have unlocked all of them. That includes the SV98, the M40, and the M98B. Uh, if you don't have the M98B, which is the last one you unlock, I'm guessing most people have the SV98. Uh, and, and the SV98 and the M40 are very, very close. They have about the same damage, same bullet drop, same muzzle velocity, same damage. So, But the M40 um, and same magazine, sorry. And, but the M40, or sorry, not the M40, the M98B has a uh, higher muzzle velocity, meaning that it drops slower, it has less bullet drop. Uh, the bullet travels faster, so you can hit your targets, you don't have to lead them quite as much. It does do more damage, that's about 85% damage, I believe, to that body. Uh, obviously, it depends on what part of the body you hit them. And obviously, it's a one hit, sh one hit headshot, just like all the other bullet actions. Um, actually, just like all the other snipers, because I believe every single one including the uh, semi-autos or uh, one-shot headshots but anyway um, so I'm using the M40 I like the M40 more than the M98 because that increased damage doesn't equal one-hit kill um, you know automatically you still have to get the headshot so it's still it's two-shot body kill so I think that the uh, increased damage doesn't really help too much uh, <clears throat> the higher muzzle of velocity definitely helps a lot um, but I've gotten really, really used to the muzzle velocity and the bullet drop with the M40 because I've been using it so much, and it has a tw it has a, a twice the size magazine because the M4 or the M98B only has a fit five round magazine, six with a bullet in the chamber, which isn't that much in comparison. You know, it's half as much as the M40 and the uh, SV98. And when you're battling multiple enemies, like you know two, three, or four, uh, it's nice not to have to reload in between those uh, kills. Especially if you're, uh, you know, shooting two bullets into each guy because, uh, you know, it's not a one-hit kill. So, I, I suggest sticking with the M40. As far as secondaries, uh, if you're going to be using a semi-auto, I would suggest the MP443. It has a larger magazine than the, M the M9. does the same amount of damage. It seems to have the same amount of recoil. I like the Iron Fist as well. And in comparison to the G17, it has a much better hip fire. Uh, G18 is the one I'm using in this, this video. That's a fully automatic. Um... Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm using the G17 in this one. But the G18, uh, you unlock at, I believe, level 30. It's fully automatic. Uh, does It kills in six bullets instead of four like the rest of the pistols, or most of the pistols. Um, but it uh, also has a 20-round magazine, so it's a tad bit better, bigger. I would use that if you're doing a smaller map. I prefer to stick to the MP443. I also really like the .44 Magnum Revolver. That's a two-shot kill as well as the Rex. I don't really like the way the Rex looks though. Um, one of the really nice things, if if you're using the um, the .44 Revolver in combination with a sniper, if you hit him with one sniper shot, you can easily hit him with uh, you know just zoom out and, and switch your second, aim down your sight, and pull the trigger on your pistol, and you already be aimed perfectly at them be able to get a pistol shot off and that uh, revolver will kill them uh, with the rest and you can see how bad the hip fire on this thing the spread just goes crazy on that G17 but um, so right here this is a really really important spot if you can get to this top right corner you can basically cover this entire uh, basically cliff that they are running down I think this is a really hard position for attackers I think this whole map is hard for attackers to do the first section is very, very open. Uh, unless you have a good vehicle uh, coordination, it's very hard to plant. Uh, in the second uh, spot, they hit, you're going straight down the hill. You're completely exposed. Yeah, there's some rocks and stuff, but you don't have very much cover. Um, and it's very, very hard to get down this part of the map. So take advantage of that. Um, push up towards their part of the, the spawn point. You know, Put a spawn beacon up there. Uh, and there's a couple of roles, I think, snipers need to play that I see a lot of snipers neglecting things like don't sit in the back of the map you're, you're one of the main things to do is provide a mobile spawn point not only with using your mobile spawn beacon but also just by staying alive not being in the very front of your lines and allowing your teammates to spawn on you uh, whenever they die now the, let me explain how the mobile spawn beacon works because there's some misconceptions uh, that I had about it and I've heard other people had about it so 
Uh, mobile spawn beacon, if you spawn on it, it disappears. It blows up and you can put down another one. If your teammate or your squad mate, I should say, spawns on it, then it doesn't blow up. If they take out both objectives, then it disappears as well. Or if you're you know, attacking and you take out both objectives, then it disappears as well. But that does not mean that you get a new one. You have to die to get a new one. And no, you cannot replenish it from a ammo crate. Actually, I don't think you can request... Well, no, you can replenish some of the equipment from the ammo crate. I shouldn't say none of it. Because like the C4 and the Claymore, you can. Um, basically, with the bolt action, you really need to go for headshots. And that's what I've been really working on. It's kind of hard to fo force myself to do that since I'm used to... Uh, you know, bad company two sniping where you can uh, just go for headshots at range and usually just get a, a one shot heal, kill in the in the chest uh, in medium ranges. Uh, but anyway, that's the end of the game. I ended up with a score of let's see here, twenty and three. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully it was entertaining, and uh, see you in the next video.